Hi everybody, I'm Angel and I'm a yummy vegan. And I wanted to come back on today and talk about shed to be fed. We are in the autumn or fall season as it's called in the USA and there's lots of shedding going on. The leaves are shedding their, the trees are shedding their leaves and a lot of us on our vegan journey are preparing for the new year coming up in about six weeks and so we are some of us are looking to either switch ditch the standard diet and lifestyle and switch to a vegan diet and lifestyle so that involves shedding old habits low vibration habits unhealthy habits and for some of us who are on our vegan journey that might be shed to be fed a more high vibration vegan diet in other words less processed foods a lot of us are still eating processed foods myself included I sometimes eat processed foods uh, when I am out and about uh, at a restaurant and uh, you know it's a good time during the fall or autumn as we call it to shed to be fed a higher vibration diet and lifestyle and Shed to be fed could also relate to relationships. Sometimes we have to shed old relationships in order to be fed new high vibration relationships that are more nourishing to us. Just how we shed old dietary habits, sometimes we might need to shed old relationships that are pulling us down, dragging us down, low energy low vibrations, lots of conflict, lots of negativity. And so that might be a part of our journey to shed, to be fed, better, happier relationships, as well as better, healthier diets. And so I would encourage anyone out there this time of year in particular, as we are watching the leaves fall off the trees. The leaves, the, the trees are like teachers to us. They're showing us that there is a season to shed, to be fed. And so I'd love to hear your thoughts about shed to be fed on your vegan journey and your life's journey in general. And I hope you're doing great. And until we see each other again, take good care. And bon appétit. And bon Why